All right, well, here I had seen this clip and I wanted to show everybody where cool. so I've been this texting came her, from. trying to keep updated where with, with what's going on. But um, I've heard that five people were shot and there's... What else might have happened? How many people might have... It wasn't that far, but I heard two pops and that's when I started running. I've heard a lot of different stories from different people about... Yeah. Um, like so what's happening like who's been look, here's stuff about, that truck right there the, what have what have you been able to okay i just i saw this clip here it's actually on abc um and you'll see this is the it looks like an unmarked like an f-150 or something uh maybe an f-250 but the i think the double cab uh, but it looks looks like that anyway coming up here you'll see the the one clip that I think everybody's been showing with the quote first responders coming out of the side of the building here uh, throwing a big bag in the back of this truck I, you guys if you've seen it you know Learning what I'm talking about friends and others who were in the school Look. some text messages from phone calls about what else might have happened, how many people might have been hurt, anyone you know? Um, I know that one of my good friends is still in the school, so I've been texting her trying to keep updated where with, with what's going on. But um, I've heard that five people were shot and there's 20 victims. Okay, I don't think that that was actually supposed to even... <laughs> I don't think that that was supposed to be there. I mean... This is from ABC. As you can see, look, here it is. Go check it out for yourself. You can read it. Um, but I finally had some time to sit down and look at this. And so you all can do some research and get some things to pop up that wouldn't normally pop up on your browser. Is use a Tor browser and also thank you to look at uh, look if you want who turned me on to the Opera browser as well but uh, Live Leak is a uh, a good you can see some videos that you're not going to see in some other places on Live Leak and then also like I said use the Tor browser and then use DuckDuckGo or something like that and and you get different search results so try it out and anyway check this out again because some stuff I'm not saying I have no clue what's going on basically you know you don't have to be a conspiracy theorist on anything you just have to know that conspiracy actually does happen and certain things don't add up so I don't have to theorize about anything all I can say is that I know that the official story of one guy is BS. Other than that, I don't know exactly, but here you go from ABC. Me and my friend, I met up with one of my friends, I saw her, so we were just running for our lives. And then at one point, we stopped, and the security guard rolled up next to us, and he was like, keep running, go. So that's when I knew this was like a real thing. Yeah, about what time was that? How long did it take you to get out of the school? Um, I had to run all the way to the Walmart that's near our school. Okay, and I wanted to say something else about this too, because this is right away, and there are <laughs> the amount of federal and uh, look at this this is at the beginning what in the hell is this thing doing here right when students are still coming out of the school if this was something random come on everybody's on scene already everybody this is at one point come on stopped and the security guard rolled up next to us and he was like keep running go so that's when I knew this was like a real Serious thing. Yeah, about what time was that? How long did it take you to get out of the school? Um, I had to run all the way to the Walmart that's near our school. 
that took me like a total of 10 minutes to get there but actually getting out of school it's a big school probably took me about five minutes running right and you say you heard personally you heard two pops yes and i don't know how close or how far they were i wasn't able to gauge it but it definitely wasn't that far but i heard two pops and that's when i started running i've heard a lot of different stories from different people about um like what's happening like who's been hurt and stuff so i don't i don't know what have what have you been able to glean from your friends and others who were in the school from text messages from phone calls Here it comes. about what else might have happened how many people might have been hurt anyone you know um i know that one of my good friends is still in the school so i've been texting her trying to keep updated where with, with what's going on but um i've heard that five people were shot and there's 20 victims so yeah, there's I'm a not exactly sure. there's another clip out there of that where it's a little longer um so there's just video of this from so many different angles too all these people are on scene right now how in the world does that happen so quick um, right the specifics but i heard there's like videos surfacing of people on the floor lying dead and and what is your friend telling you about what's happening in the school right now what have you been able to find out and I am not saying that nobody got shot because I most certainly think that people indeed did die in this situation. That's not what I'm saying. Yeah. I heard that he's in the freshman building of our school. Um, and I know that my friend is pretty far from that, so that's good. But well, you, um, you mean you've heard that the shooter is in the freshman building of the school? And another thing, I mean... If you're running away from a situation and you're trying to get away from a shooter, boy, let's just run away with our hands up as if, can we give the dude a bigger target, right? If you just wanted to start mowing some people down, oh no, don't shoot me, don't shoot me, let me uh, give you even something bigger. <laughs> I mean, these people should be scattering and they should be zigzagging and definitely not just throwing their arms up like hey look at me that is ridiculous school that, yeah that's what i heard but i don't know for certainty try try to give us a sense of how big this school is you say the freshman building how many buildings are in this high school uh, oh, i am worried for my child my goodness. Well, we have, well, there's, our buildings have different numbers, so there's a total of, I would say, like 10 buildings. It's, it's, it's like the size of a small university. So it's a very large school, several what? thousand uh, students. You believe, you've been told at least, that the shooter was in the freshman building. Have you had any information about uh, whether the shooter is still alive, whether there are others in the building with him right now any hostages anything like that so what is what in the world is this right like okay the everything about this just keeps looking weirder and weirder i mean how in the world do you have this many people on site immediately just anything like that um, I don't know for a fact about any of those things, but I'm assuming that he has hostages if he's in the freshman building. Um, that means they know where he is, so he probably is. Okay, in the freshman building. So I have also, I heard another one that I watched where this uh, witness was saying that there were two shooters, there are only two exits on the freshman building, and there were shooters on either side and they were forcing people up the building shooting up like from lower to higher levels of the building so anyway this whole thing just stinks guys girls whoever's watching this and uh you know we need to be aware of what's going on let's let's not get too wound up into people. anything i heard I mean, that one of my my goodness um, favorite teachers was actually involved i think she's okay but i heard that she was helping a student and they saw her walking out with blood on her leg i i don't know i know there was definitely 
blood, though. I, I know that for a fact. There, there yeah. was blood. You're home right now. As far as there you know, that blood. one friend is the is the only friend you're in contact with inside the school right now. There was blood. Um, but there's.